Hello Aries, this is your romance reading for March 2020 and I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to new viewers and my Cider Angels, my regular viewers. Thank you very much for coming back and supporting the channel and giving me beautiful reactions and the thumbs up and sharing. I'm really grateful for you doing that. Thank you very much. And the Cyber family is growing instantaneously. And for the new viewers, please subscribe. The button, you can find the button there below the video and hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live. And if you would like to become a Cyber Angel, then join us in the live sessions. Um, I go live every day unless something comes in between and it prevents me from going live. Okay, and also just down here you will find a white dot and click on that and it will take you through to the website charliesangeltarot.com and of course there will be new updates regularly um, like reviews or warnings or in more information or new developments on the website itself. There you can also find different uh, offers uh, of readings, or re different readings, uh, so go and have a look. If you would like an extensive reading, then please take up contact. There's also information below this video in the description box. And the, here we go, my darlings. So um, this is your March 20 reading Aries. And you've got past life relationships. You have somebody from a past life relationship. You have known each other before. So, so um, if you are not partnered up, there might be somebody coming back from a past life of, or I even think from the past. So, there you go. This is a transformational period, as the coffin means there is an ending and a new face. And this is also transformation, not a real death at all. So there might be a, a, a new transformation in a present relationship. You might find out that you have known each other. If you do regression, of course, usually you can find that out when you do regression. The second week, somebody might be, deceit, uh, be, might be deceitful or have deception or be, uh, be doing deception. Sorry about my English now and again. I am bilingual, but um, I try my best. And someone is wearing a false self-made mask in this relationship. So somebody is not being honest and open on how they feel. Perhaps they might feel um, that they're tied up or something is stifling them or they're not feeling very well. Uh, they've got the flu. So somebody might pretend they are better off uh, than they really are emotionally. There are secrets. We've got the book beneath that deception card. So there might be secrets. Okay, I hope not, because it's not nice to live with somebody that is deceitful or that's keeping secrets at bay. Even if it is in a good course, in a good sense, like if they know they've got a, an illness and they're trying to hide the pain or the illness, like cancer, God forbid, uh, you, uh, they have to be open to maintain a relationship you have to be open, loyal, and and keep the communication going so that you can support each other. That is part of a relationship. And if it's not you that's wearing the mask, uh, uh, Aries, then please uh, talk to your partner and ask what is the matter, what are the secrets. The book also stands for a new study. So there might be a new study. This could be... This could be, um, they might study uh, your partner or the person that's wearing the false mask. They might study you uh, medically and find out what is wrong. It could be uh, physically or it could be mentally. Like I said, somebody might feel tied up or feel stifled. 
So be more open with each other. Sorry, it's usually with a, with a general, I go on to the card below it. But no, remember the third week, um, let your friends help you. Accept uh, help and support from others. Many hands make light work. If you do have a partner and you are having difficulties communicating with each other, then please note, go and seek um, advice. Uh, like I said, a study, get to a mediator. She can study your reactions towards each other. Or a life coach, this is what a life coach or a mediator does. She studies the actions and reactions towards each other. So you can learn to open up and you can learn to communicate with each other and feel free in a relationship. There is a new beginning. Perhaps somebody wants a child and the other one is wearing a mask because they don't want a child. That could be the issue at hand. Um, try to talk about it. There is a new beginning. Also, there can be a new study. And the book is The Baby Means Also a New Study and Learning It Playfully. Um, and there again, the book is um, Secrets or Study. So study is coming very strong to the foreground. Perhaps the person um, that's wearing the mask wants more freedom and wants to get a qualification so they can go out to work. This could be your partner and usually it could be a, a, um, a lady. Uh, so um, because the man always supports the family, but perhaps the kids are grown up now and she's bored. OK, this could be a man or a woman. Uh, but it's the she figure, the feminine side of the relationship. Um, perhaps she, want, uh, she couldn't go to school and she wants to get a degree uh, so she can get a good job to help to support you. See the positive side of things as well. That is why you need to talk because she might feel tied down and stifling in this relationship because she wants to go out and work or have a qualification. She wants to better yourself, herself. Um, also, the child means that uh, she might not want a child because she wants to go out and study. She wants a new beginning. The child can always come later, perhaps. Be more playful in your relationship and talk to friends about this. What can you do about it if you're not going to a mediator or a life coach? And then you have in the fourth week unrequented love. Well, that is very painful. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's why I'm saying you can, but you have to be open, play open book. Make the book open so that you can save this relationship if that is what you both wish. But it takes work. Don't get depressed. Don't get depressed. You have decisions and choices to make. And you have to do that together. Have faith. Others have faith in you. And so why don't you have faith in yourself? Perhaps that is, it, that is what is killing the relationship. Okay, now the, we've got the answer of the angels. Um, Aries, the situation will improve so long you keep the communication going and working at it. A relationship does happen uh, by itself and it's fun and playful in the first part of the uh, relationship but then you get the period that um, there are other things that you want if you want children then you get children and the children can affect the sorry about that noise I'm leaving it in so that you know that I do correct myself um, yes, children can affect a relationship because children, they need change, they need feeling when they're a baby, they can't talk, they can't make anything clear, and every age has got its difficulty. But children are your treasure. When the teen ages, then it's tough because they're finding out what they want and who they are and where they're going. So, yes, perhaps somebody in the relationship is getting a bit heated up and getting fed up with the attitude of children 
um, and is wearing a mask. Perhaps it is a partner that uh, had a child from a previous marriage, but wants now a child from you. Or you want a child with your partner. Um, and to make it a, a, a happier family unit. And they are making, uh, they're worrying about it. So they might be wearing a mask because they are not used to children. But having your own child is always different than being a stepmom or a stepdad to somebody else's child. And the situation will improve so long you communicate and um, so long you work on the relationship. It doesn't have to be re unrequented love um, if you are hooked up because why, uh, why did you fall in love in the first place? There must have been something there. So where did it go wrong and when? So seek help from a life coach or marriage guidance counselor. If it's worth, if it's worth saving, do so. Uh, because the love just doesn't disappear, boom, overnight. Love grows. And that's what we all need to know and realize much more. There's too many divorces nowadays because people find it too stressful, usually, because life is more stressful than 30 years ago. Um, I see this with my own children as well. And, you know, they have to work, that it's tougher. Everything is cyber and they have to learn. It's for us, our old people or older mature people, it is tougher because we had a free life compared to what it is now. You have to have a pass for this. You have to register this. You have, and you have to be so careful because you also working with the invisible and that is Facebook, the media, uh, Twitter and people are, think it is great fun. It is great fun but you have to be extremely careful. Now you've got the blue card and this in all the uh, deck or in the whole deck, let me put it that way, there's only one blue card. And this is universal protection. The strongest protection beside the gold mash card, the golden card. This is Archangel Michael coming in to give you the royal blue cloak. And this means that he can stop the time. Okay. He will delay a divorce or he will delay a separation or he will delay time for you to have enough uh, decision or um, uh, enough decision or choice to make the right choice. So when he steps in and when this card steps in, that is what it means. I'm sorry, that was Millie and Matus. They are playing. You've got universal protection, Aries. The royal blue cloak. Archangel My Michael steps in and throws down his blue cloak. Effectively, the cloak can manipulate time as we know it. This shield is specifically, I will hold it up so it will stand out for you, okay? This shield is symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as a powerful tool of protection. Archangel Michael's cape is a sacred gift from God. When Archangel Michael intervenes with his all-powerful royal blue cloak of protection, he does so from the vantage point of the absolute center of an Archangel sacred circle of protection. That is Archangel Michael resides in the west. Archangel Uriel resides in the north. Archangel Michael, sorry, Archangel Raphael rules the east and Archangel Michael the south. On the conscientious of, of on the conscious of all the Archangels, Archangel Michael will move to the center of the circle and throw down 
his all-powerful energetic cape of protection over you or a situation you are involved in. This form of protection is not that you cannot, is not that, oh I'm so sorry, this form of protection is not one that you can request. It is only instigated in extreme circumstances when the course of your sacred contract is threatened. You may or may not be aware of this divine protection. People have described situations where time felt like it was frozen. Time stood still. During these time people have described occurrences against all laws of physics, such as the object being mysteriously pushed away, a person showing up from nowhere and then vanishing, or a series of events which prevent you from taking a journey, for example. You miss the plane or a bus, or your car won't start. However, hours later the car starts perfectly fine, or when a mechanic checks the car, no issue is found. Effectively, the cloak can man uh, manipulate time as we know it. That changes the course of your day or delivers an angelic emergency response. So, ask Arch Archangel Michael to bring clarity and help from all the uh, uh, angels that reside in the Archangel's circle. And I will repeat this again. The sacred circle of protection Archangel Gabriel recites in the West. Archangel Uriel resides in the North. And Archangel Raphael resides in the East and Archangel Michael in the South. So remember that circle. You can protect yourself with these four angels. But time will only stand still when the Archangels see that you're in dire straits. There could be also alternative meanings, redundancy, sudden unexpected changes of plans, can't like having a baby instead of not having a baby, but you need to discuss it. Business deals fall through, contracts fall through, missing out on a house or a property, missing out on a job. Angels intervene, protecting your best interests at heart and will bring you something better. Okay, so time might stop for some reason or rather. An archangel will step in and bring you the right person to, inter to help you with mediation. Now, you have the primrose angel feather and that is yellow and that is also the solar plex. Somebody might have closed that heart off to you and that's why it seems unrequented love. Talk about it, open your heart, get help. Primrose angel feather an advanced soul. The angels acknowledge that in your midst is an advanced beautiful soul, an indigo, crystal or a rainbow child that you have been called on to love, guide or teach. What a blessing. The primrose angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of an advanced soul. These gifted children and, teen, uh, and teenagers relate to great spirituality and I was talking about um, teenagers and when you're a teenagers, teenager and you do have these gifts and you don't understand because nobody else in the family doesn't understand then things can become difficult. They search 
to understand the world and to find the meaning of life. The angels have called upon you to assist a child in an optimistic way with new learning. These children respond to confident, cheerful and positive role models. The angels ask that you look past outward appearances, connect deeply through their eyes, the windows of the soul, and never underestimate their innate gifts and abilities. This will be a blessed relationship. Anything is possible only if you believe. The angels associated with this Archangel Feather um, Primrose is Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Zadkiel, and Angel Israfel, Angel Ethereal, Angel Muriel, and Angel Nuriel. So you can call upon all those angels and you can ask the angel, Archangel Metatron, to help you to clear your chakras and help you with children with ADHD or ADD. And these are the crystal indigo children. The crystals that you could wear and also give to these children or your partner might be one of these children. Or you. Wear citron, helidor, or calcite. They will bring peace and healing. Then we have the last angel card. And the last angel card is the angel of good news. There you go. You will be able to solve it. You will get good news. You will hear the news, what has happened, why the love has uh, turned into um, a, requ in, uh, a requented love. Okay. Sorry. Unrequented love. The situation will improve. But you have to take note. You have to know what your boundaries are, what their boundaries are. Found out what they want and will let them know what you want and find the balance back you can save your relationship that is if you're partnered up if you are in a relationship and it is still new then talk about it if you would like to turn it into a long lasting relationship it's a big message but it's perhaps a wake-up call. Perhaps that that is what it all is. And perhaps it doesn't even resonate with you. If it doesn't, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign, Aries. And also, you can get this stone. And I, um, I forgot what the name is. I'll have to find out. Um, but it's it's like a uh, cult site like this but it's blue and that's Archangel Michael Stone. I got this from the author that made these cards. Um, I will leave the address of her shop uh, or website underneath in the description box and you can always ask her can you send me an Archangel Michael Stone and he will protect you. He is an awesome guy, but this reading is special because he's here to protect you. This is one in 45 cards. I think it's 45 cards. Let's have a look. I did a review on this deck, so if you want to see the review, then go to the playlist reviews. Well, I can't see, and just in case I forget, it is Michelle Newton at AOK -OK Angel Angels of Kindness, and I will write it down. That is www 
aokangelsofkindness.com. So, if you would like the Archangel Michael Stone, then go to her website. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and please let me know your situation or your reaction anyway. And I wish you a lot of strength and a lot of wisdom. The book, Get Wise. Yes, perhaps start a course together to heal this situation. I wish you a lot of strength and best wishes. And I hope you enjoy much. Take care and be blessed. Please share and like with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.